Hello again guys, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you with another Legends of Runes Hero video and today got a very cool deck to share with you guys. This is Pisu Karu. They are a Japanese Masters player. Uh, this is going to be their Fizz Yumi list also utilizing unironically Unscarred Reba, the one mana free old follower. Unironically slotting into this deck to allow you to do lots of pretty cool combos doing lots of uninteractive stuff and just proving to be it's a pretty solid deck they were able to like reach quite high ranks or masters with it i'm sure it has some consistency issues here and there but the list is very solid very cool very glad to showcase it today that is for sure now i've played a few games with it the light learning curve to it plenty of ways to accidentally misplay but yeah i think it's just a very cool deck showcasing the uh, power of deck building really and how you know you can never quite solve solve the meta but yeah check this list out if you're looking for something completely different to play also merry christmas if i in case i don't see you uh but yeah enjoy leave a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll see you soon all right giga chad we're facing another aatrox deck imagine yumi is pretty helpful i can make a big unscarred reaver maybe ideally we hit the librarian right the librarian plus yumi is pretty annoying for them to deal with I'll probably try and bank mana if it's possible. Like, I'll play this if I play a one drop, I guess. Reaver outsets them harder, to be honest. I'd play Reaver. Okay. I'll listen to a man of knowledge. Uh, Psyche, FL, uh, FL. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. What I'm asking myself if, is if I think it's worth just to straight up pokey this before they even equip anything onto it. I know that if you can, like, make them fall behind on, like, their first equipment they can definitely fall pretty far behind if they can't stick their equipments early enough it's a chance i'm willing to take and if they just decide to pump pump it with something that's also fine too of course unless they have um catch catching with that equipment though fair enough This looks not too bad. Oh, dude, he do be hitting my unscarred Reaver. Maybe I just open attack. Hit him with the hit to help. Then maybe we just go for a shell game. With signpost eventually. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Unscarred Reaver probably have to get shell gamed very soon. Signpost will eventually be a backup play for strike spells. Um, hopefully we have enough HP to keep it alive from some of the plays here. Hand me a weapon. I have a beast to put down. OTK deck? It has some OTK aspects to it, absolutely. Oh, Troll Chant is a huge pickup here. Probably just game winning on its own. What if we just like aggressively pass here? Yeah, it's fine. He wants to attack me at some point. Like, you could pass here, that's totally fine, I guess. Things are looking great for us. I'll actually go for regen, I think. Regen could be, like, really annoying if they do decide to sack here. See, what I'm thinking is I probably do go for the regen. I gotta assume that he might not attack here. Or just like. Ugh. If 
but I'm not like actively giving it more damage. Maybe I like play something as like a bait, like Fizz, or even Librarian. If I were a magician, where would I go? Trying to like convince him to attack and like just not end the turn. So what do we do? Let's like inner beast here maybe. Do, do we need to put any more damage on it? Could say both with Chol Chan. I don't think I need the other unit. My goal is to kill them next turn, right? So I'm trying to keep up as much mana as possible. This is getting spell shield next turn as well, which will get plus one, plus one. Fizz, uh, Yumi flips as well, making it 16. Shell game is an extra one. I just want to see if I can just OTK him straight up with... um. Is that enough damage? Plus two, plus two is lethal, is it? Yeah, I would just go for it, right? It's gonna look really cool if we can actually just do a strap combo with the unscarred Reaver. It's one off, but we play Fizz. Fizz flips. Okay, so assuming he has no... I guess the, big, the concerted strike would suck here, right? That would be the biggest problem. Oh, we literally just have lethal. That's crazy. So we do this. Then we troll chant, right? Rally? Could rally, but like this is also lethal, right? We flip Fizz, and that's exactly 20. And then we hit him with the little crocodile emote. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> that was cool. Fuck it, full send. Bellow's breath on this turn. Doesn't that look funny? If they haven't got another unit here, they might be in a lot of trouble, which it's quite possible they don't. Oh. There goes my dude. Maybe I should have passed more aggressively here. My bad. Okay, that's a bit problematic. Oh, that was our win con too. Sheesh. Damn, that sucks. Okay, nice little two for one here. Copium. Come on, baby. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I play a man. Honestly, it was pretty close, that's for sure. They could have like another strike spell here potentially.
Sometimes respect the sea's bounty and all that. I in the War Mother's name. Let's see what her notes say. Baby, don't fail me now. I'll go for a defensive fury on the librarian, save some damage. Quick attack. Pretty irrelevant on that. He's going for the um the card, right? Um I think that's fine. Fury of the North brings us up to 10 we trade everything's fine okay need a light he can't outgrow us it seems that way david <laughs> There's two rumbles down, and we have a big librarian. As uh, I'll take it. There's a few good draws here, right? Yumi, unfortunately, is not one of them. I guess we'll just put him on like a two turn clock here. Guess Do this, the get the chump the waters, yeah, keep up signposts, three sisters for defensive plays against them next turn. Maybe they find their last rumble, it's okay. Let's see what her notes say. Hold on to this in case we find shell game or overwhelm. A single empire ruled by the true king. We could just destroy the equipment, hey? And also draw a card. And they've got three mana. Of course, they get a Midnight Raid with the Fearsome, but that's like fine. Looks good. Very nice. 